close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Ruthie. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get some Thanksgiving freezer meals prepped and ready to go. So as most of you guys know, <laughs> this baby is um, giving me a run for my money. Thanksgiving is literally right around the corner and I accept a doctor's appointment on Thanksgiving morning. But with that being said, Thanksgiving morning is gonna be hectic because I'm gonna have so much to do and I won't even be here for a good two hours. Um, so I thought, hmm, what can I make ahead of time? I was thinking about my side dishes. I was like, what do I have for side dishes that I can freeze? I was like, you know what? Green bean casserole, super easy for me to prep ahead of time and just put it into a pan and freeze it. Once the green beans is time to cook, you just defrost it and then top it with more toppings like the French onions and or the onion crisps throw it in there, cook it, and then it's like easy. That's something I don't have to worry about. Then I was thinking about my sweet potato casserole. So my sweet potato casserole is, well actually, I don't know if my sister, I don't know if it's my sister-in-law's recipe, but I got it for my sister-in-law because it's like the recipe that she's always made. I'm gonna freeze that because that takes me probably like the longest out of all of the meals that I have to make. That was probably the more, most time consuming just because it's, more steps because I have to cook the sweet potato first and all that stuff. So with that being said, and am I rambling, um, I'm going to show you guys how I make both my meals. So day of Thanksgiving, once they're thawed out, I'm actually going to be transferring whatever's in here into like a nice white cooking dish. And that's just because I personally just like when all of my dishes on Thanksgiving uh, are all matching and they're all white and beautiful and clean. Um, but this is good to freeze with. I don't want to freeze with my other stuff. So I want to freeze with these. Um, so yeah, we're going to do these. I'm pretty sure these are 9 by 11s First thing I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to take four sweet potatoes. I'm going to peel them, wash them, and start boiling them. I'm actually going to do, and I'm probably just going to go ahead and pop some holes in these with a fork. Throw them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then peel them, chop them, and then boil them. The recipe calls for three cups of cooked sweet potato. So I could possibly have a little bit extra, but that's okay because I love sweet potato. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna prep the sweet potatoes first and then I'm gonna set that to the side while it's boiling and then I'll actually do my green bean casserole. So let's get started. Okay guys, so now that we have our sweet potato boiling, we're gonna work on the green bean casserole. I'm pretty basic when it comes to my green bean casserole. I pretty much just follow the recipe. Um, the only thing is I add one whole can of this and then I usually have another package that I just do the topping with. This is like the best part of green bean casserole, I think. So this is my favorite part. Same thing, 
following the recipe, so one can of condensed cream of mushroom soup for four cups of green beans. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm actually just doing canned green beans because these were 49 cents. So I normally do fresh green beans or like the frozen bag of green beans, but we're doing this this year because <laughs> mama on a budget. So. I'm just gonna add one can of cream of mushroom. I actually think I normally end up doing two cans, so I think I'm gonna. Ugh. Anyone else hate that sound? So I'm gonna do two cans of cream of mushroom. Oh, so gross. One cup. Two cups, Oops. three cups, four cups. So, like I said, I normally do the bagged green beans, but this year I'm doing the canned. So, two cans of Cream of mushroom, four cans of green beans if you're using green beans from the can. I'm gonna add a cup and a half of milk. Right? Yeah, two three fourths. So, big old gallon of milk. Don't make fun of me. So, I just kind of eyeball my black pepper. Um, I kind of like a lot of it. Um, so, my bowl is too small, <laughs> and I can't find a bigger one, so I'm actually just going to transfer it in here and kind of mix it all up, so. You want to really mix it up because you don't want the milk to sit at the bottom or anything. So, the next thing I do is, where is it? I put a whole package of the onions you don't have to, you can use whatever is recommended. So if you're following this recipe, it says one and one third cup of like onion. So you would do, um, you do two and two thirds for this recipe since we doubled it. Um, but I love these. Does anyone else eat them out of the can? Are you supposed to? I always do. I add a whole can. So I'm just gonna slowly add it in. There you have it. So now, basically, um, I'm just going to wrap this up in tin foil, a lot of tin foil, and then I'll write write on my green bean casserole, and then whatever this baking says. I think it's 350. Yeah. So yeah, then I'll just cover it up in foil, and then bake it through 50 for 30 minutes or until hot. Stir, top with the remaining onions, bake for an extra five minutes. Okay you guys, so we're going to get started on the sweet potato casserole. So 
I just checked the sweet potatoes. They're still a little hard, so I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer. But um, I'm going to go ahead and beat the eggs and sugar and butter first. And then I'm also going to start on the topping. Um, I'm not going to put the topping on the sweet potato casserole just yet because I don't want it to, I want it to be crumbly day of. So I'm going to put that in like a little Ziploc baggie on the side and then I'll freeze that too. And then day of or the day before when it defrosts and I thaw it out, uh, I'll take that out too. And then right before I put it in the oven, I'll crumble it on top like I normally would and then just bake it. So I'm going to first, I forgot to take out my butter and let it be at room temp. So I'm actually just going to pop um, eight tablespoons of butter into a measuring cup and I'm actually going to melt it a little bit in the microwave. Um, not too long, but I'm going to soften up the butter a little bit. I could call for three fourths of a cup, which is the same thing as eight tablespoons if you didn't know. Um, and this recipe is so delicious. Like, I, you guys need to try it. It's so good. So I'm actually going to put uh, two eggs inside this bowl. Sorry for the hand the microwave in the background. Two eggs. And then a third cup of sugar. So here's my butter. It's 30 seconds, but good enough. Add a third cup of sugar. Um, feel free to add more or less, um, honestly. The sweeter, the better. <laughs> um, feel free to use like a stand mixer or handheld mixer. I'm just gonna give this a quick mix um, like this since my butter is pretty soft. Um, and then I'm going to add my uh, milk and vanilla, and then I'll use like the, uh, the handheld mixer once I add my sweet potatoes. But for now, I'm fine with just getting a good old mix. I'm having contractions, and they really, really hurt. My feet really hurt. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. I just kind of <laughs> um, and give it that little mix and I'm going to add half of a cup of milk so add half a cup of milk and this recipe another one you can double it if you want um, this recipe serves about I think it's like six to eight um, but if you have a bigger family or anything. And I'm just gonna put this to the side because we're still waiting for our sweet potato. Um, once it's in there, I'll go ahead and puree it. And then that's it. So my little one actually just woke up from his nap, crying. I think he's going through night terrors right now, which is like fun. Um, but he's back down, so I didn't get to do the topping yet. So my sweet potatoes are actually done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that now. Here's two cups. So I'm actually just going to add four cups. I'm pretty sure last year I added a little bit more sweet potato because I liked it better. Um, so four cups of sweet potato. I just what I said earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and use my hand mixer and blend this up. So I would definitely do four cups of the cooked sweet potato um, to get a better consistency. I'm pretty sure the... I'm pretty sure the last few times, gosh, it just went everywhere. I'm pretty sure the last few times that I've made it, I end up doing four cups instead of the three. So the recipe also calls for putting it into a greased pan. Um, so I'm gonna spray it. So I am gonna spray this just just in case. I don't know. I've never frozen this one before, but pretty sure it's going to come out just as fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and so that 
that's pretty much it for this recipe. Um, looks like this. I definitely would double this if I had like a lot of people coming, but I don't. Um, I would only make just a serving and it's plenty. So I am going to let this sit on its side and cool off for a little bit because it is extremely hot still and you do not want to freeze anything that is still really, really hot. So I am going to let this be in the stove. I'm not even going to cover it. I'm just going to let it cool off. But I'm going to let this cool off and we're going to get working on the topping. So I accidentally deleted the footage of me making the topping and ending this video. So I'm just going to leave it in here. So for the topping, all I did was add brown sugar, flour, and butter, and pecans. And I just mixed it all up until it was like really crumbly and I put it in a little Ziploc bag. She did about one cup of brown sugar, a third cup of flour, two tablespoons of butter softened, and then about half a cup of chopped pecans. And then I literally just mixed it up and added it to a Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to add that before I bake it day of. And day of, when I do bake it, I'm going to bake it on 350 for about 45 minutes. Again, sorry for deleting the last footage that I had. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways. And I hope you guys make the sweet potato casserole and the green bean casserole ahead of time. Save yourself some time for Thanksgiving. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving, guys.